so busy, I'm telling you. Welcome back. Thank you. Today we are in the Blue Lagoon, probably the most famous spot in all of Malta. It's just a shallow spot between two, well, three islands. One of the islands is basically just a tiny little rock right next to Comino. People love it here. There are probably, I'd say in the vicinity of about 200 boats or something like this. It's difficult to tell because lots of them are coming and going and there's a whole strip dedicated for day trippers to arrive. So from around nine o'clock in the morning, it just fills up here and it's absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so busy. They also filmed the uh, movie Troy here. It's been a little bit chuckly because like I said people are just coming and going and coming and going and everybody's listening to music and having a good time. It's kind of cool and the water is just absolutely amazing. because it's just a bit too rolly. Everybody's passing by already at around 8.30 in the morning. So now we're going just around the corner, about three, 400 meters. There's a place called the Crystal Lagoon. It's deeper. Is and it crystal? It is crystal clear, it's deeper. <laughs> and though the, some of the smaller day tripper boats go there, not all of the tourist ferries pass through. So hopefully it's gonna be a little bit quieter there and we might want to do some snorkeling. There's some really nice cave formations over there. And there's a cave here with a beach at the end. It's inside, no? Yes, inside, yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm charging our trustworthy torch. That's not so trustworthy. That lasts for like 25 minutes. And yeah, we're gonna go in there with the dinghy. You can go in by dinghy, but it's supposed to, or well, not supposed to, due to safety, you should turn it off when you're getting in there because the cave is very, very narrow and we were told by a local that when there are more and more dinghies coming in in the morning, so much carbon monoxide gets accumulated. People actually passed out in there, quite dangerous. So if you go in there, don't bubble around, use your dinghy if you want to get out again. We're just trying to anchor right in front here. There's a, an arch with a hole on top which creates like a theater room over here. And we're gonna snorkel in there. Oh if, we can, if we can find a spot to anchor here, but there's just enough space for us to wedge ourselves in, which is quite nice. And the colors are just so spectacular. Paradise on Earth. <laughs> Paradise. I can't stop but looking down all the time because it just goes from blue to turquoise. You think that is possible?
roof, but the roof has collapsed. Look at this. And the water is crystal clear. So many caves here to explore. It's just a little bit overrun with tourists. I mean, I'm not the only one here. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wouldn't have it be lovely. I'm not gonna cry. So why are you depressed? Took this in the water. Yeah. Says you can take it down five meters. I went up to maximum three. Water's coming out of it, that's it. Killed it. Kiki told me the lens is not made for underwater. But when I went underwater... And that's it, Sarah. Wait, wait, I went underwater, I saw the little screen and I thought, wow, that looks really good. Like the colors and everything and I wanted to get some rocks and fish and I got carried away and it looked really nice and then the screen just turned off. That's so it. what did Kiki say? In order to take it on the water you have to put it in the what? Dome. In the dome. I have to put it in the dome. Well we can put it in the dome now. I've not seen you doming around much lately. <laughs> got carried away. Yeah. Going to a secret cave. We heard there's a beach at the end. They're gonna come in here, oh my god! That's pretty close, huh? Hey, stop it! <laughs> so close! <laughs> I think he did that on purpose, yeah, just to scare us. transit log, our passports and the boat paperwork and I'm on my way to customs, police and immigration. Oh my god, I'm starving. <laughs> There's too much good food and too many restaurants. So many smells on the way to the customs office. Man, that's not fair. <laughs> I hope they're not keeping me too long. <laughs> All I had today was a salad. I'm just starving. <laughs> yeah, we're actually in customs now and police, they're right next to each other, which is super convenient. And the gentleman was so kind to explain to me that I just have to get the crew list, get it stamped with police in the next window, and also show them um, our transit look. So 
I'm just gonna speak with him as well and then I have to go back to customs and they will then check the paperwork again and give me a clearance form. So this seems to be super simple actually. Wow, now that went super quick. They gave us some stamps on our paperwork and basically that's it, we're, we're good to go. It's like super easy. Was our officer there? No, no. They didn't know him. We did speak and they didn't know the gentleman who checked us in when we like went to the wrong bit to, to check in. <laughs> like we missed the bit where we had to go, so he brought us there. But they did know him when we left the well I left the regards for us, basically. That's it. Now we're nice. good to go. Yay! Let's go <laughs> to Italy. <laughs> to Italy. And then Nico was saying, even though we're going to Italy, he's craving pizza. <laughs> good morning. We just all woke oh, up. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> At this ungodly hour, yeah. Mickey is already all bouncy and stuff. Well, mm. Kiki and me still need That's some my time. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mickey is a morning person. We're not. <laughs> so I think it's about four forty-five, and we're getting ready to leave as quickly as possible. We got a bit late because my alarm turned off. But my phone turned off. Well, the preparation again, fantastic. We're gonna have some wind on the beam in a couple of hours, so progress will probably be a little bit slow in the beginning, but with a bit of luck, we're gonna be moving nicely during the day. So let's get stuff yeah. out of let's the way. Let's get to Sicily before dark. That's, yes. that's our goal. Yes, <laughs> let's do it. Yes, good morning, Valletta VPS. This is Motor Yacht Peterson. We live from uh, Grahapu Marina. Over. Okay, I need to form a ship from Albania. Yes. Uh, uh, Yes, what information you need, over? Let's <laughs> talk about all of the Valletta VTS, Valletta VTS, this is Sailing Vessel Cuba, over. Sailing Vessel Cuba, Valletta. Good morning, Valletta VTS. We have cleared with customs, immigration and police, and we would like to request permission to leave Malta towards Syracuse, Italy. We are at the moment in Rinella Bay. Name of the yacht? Name of the yacht is Cuba, Charlie, Uniform, Bravo, Alpha. Okay, next port of call? Syracuse, Italy. Okay, message is the nationality of the yacht? Gibraltar. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Stand in one six. What do you mean?